Hello everyone, Keith Laban here, ICT teacher, and today we're going to look at the Bishop Anstey High School East Subject Selection Online Program. So let's hop into it. Okay, so first things first. So in order to do your online subject selection, you need to navigate to the school website, ba-tc.org. So go to ba-tc.org, the normal school website. Scroll right down to the bottom and you will see a link that says BATC subject selection. So click this link and you will get the subject selection site. And what you need to do now is to register. So you go ahead and do the standard registration process that you would get on most websites. So click on register. Um, put in your first name so your parents could do this. Okay, and um, your first name, last name, email address, password and confirm password. Okay, so this is the parents registration area. Um, if in case the parents parents you're not sure about it you could have your kids um, help you out with the registration process okay and you are clicking create my account so your first name last name email address password and confirm password and click on create account okay so I'm just gonna log in so that uh, we could start the process Okay, so when you log in, you would see a lot of names. Okay, if in case you click on view all, you'll get to see all the names of all the Form 3 students in Bishop Anstey High School East. So what you're gonna do is you need to search the name of your daughter right here. Okay, so I'm, I have some test students so that I could show you the process. So I'm just clicking, I'm just typing test. I'm pulling up the students with the name test, all right? But of course, you've got to search for the names of your daughter or daughters, okay? You could do selections for more than one person. Um, beware, please don't um, go and prank anyone and pull up anyone else's names and connect to them because if you do that, they won't be able to do the selections and um, you may be penalized for it when the admin finds out that, that you connected to um, someone else. Okay, so search for the name of, um, of your child and you would see the name would come up. So in this case, I'm going to use the, the person called test one here and you're going to click on this icon, actions icon. It's a connection icon. So you click on it and it will cause you to connect to the person. So if in case you had two students um, in form three by chance, that you wanted to do selections for, um, you would need to connect to both of them. All right, and once you connect to them, you could come back out to home and type another name if in case you want to connect to someone else. All right, um, in this case, I'm just showing you how you do it for one student. So notice how, since I clicked that, the connection icon is gone now. That's because I already connected to this person called test one. This one means I could still connect to this one called test two. And if I click on the X right here, I could disconnect from the student. In case I did it mistakenly, I could exit off here and I could get to connect to someone else. All right, so I'm leaving my connection. All right, I'm going back to the student because I want to um, start to do the connection, the, the subject selection. So notice, if I'm back out in home, if I want to get back my students, you just click on my students on the menu here and you would see whoever you're connected to. All right, then you click on the actions icon right here. Click on it. And now here's the interesting part. Okay, so let me reiterate on the rules which you have been given. You are allowed to see you are allowed to select two columns of subjects all right and the third column is this blank column 
all right? So you allowed any two columns of subjects and the third column must be this blank column in order for you to finalize your selections. So after you select two columns of subjects, you are allowed two switches per column, okay? So first, look for the columns that has most of the subjects that you want to do. Now disregard row one and row two because this is English and maths, you'll be doing English and maths anyhow you take it. So don't be too concerned, but from row three to row eight, you need to be concerned with those subjects. So suppose um, column two was, I wanted to, column two to be my first choice because I'm seeing physics, chemistry, bio, ad maths, IT, and geography, right? So I'm clicking column two and it will come across on the right hand side and it will be green. And I'm also seeing it's a choice one. So this is my first choice of subjects. Now, as I said, every column you select, you are allowed two switches. So you could switch out any of these subjects here for any subjects within the same row, okay? So say for some strange reason, I do not want to do geography. I have the choice of anything in this row eight that geography is in, okay? So I have the choice of any of these subjects here, right here along the same row. So suppose I wanted to do um, something like Spanish. I want to do a language instead. So I'm clicking Spanish here. So what will happen? Geography was just switched out and Spanish is now here. Whatever is here on the right hand side is your column of subjects that you are choosing. All right, so I switched out geography. Um, if in case I did it by mistake, I could exit off here and I could choose another switch in that same row if I wanted to. All right, but um, I don't want to switch that anything there again, but I do want to switch out ad maths. All right, so suppose I want to switch out ad maths. This is my second switch I'm going to do here. And suppose I wanted to do something like history instead of ad maths. All right, so I click it here. Notice anything in row six now, because ad maths is in row six. Any of, the, any of these subjects here, but and also notice it will be orange and it will be, you would see the icon changes to a pointer, um, the way you could click it, all right? It's a, it's a link. So notice if you can't click it, you're not seeing that finger there, right? But once it's orange and you see any finger, you could click it. All right, so I'm clicking on history here, right here. So now I made my two switches. Now you don't have to make any switches. If for example, the column has all the subjects that you want and you don't want to switch anything out, you don't have to switch anything out, but you are allowed up to two switches. Suppose I made that switch by mistake. I could exit off right here and it will come back to how it was. And I could go now and choose something else and it will switch it out. All right, so this is my first choice one. I'm looking for my choice two. So suppose column four is my choice two. Just click it and you will see it will come up here as choice two. Okay. And um, you could notice how it's also in green means that it right now, this is the active column and any switches I do will change in this column. It will switch in this column again, right? Um, if you wanted to activate back column one to make switches, you just click right where you're seeing on top here, it, it turns to the finger here. You click on choice one and it will turn to green. Means that I could go ahead and do switches if I'll switch out something if I wanted to. But let me reactivate column two. Right, and uh, let me see. Suppose I don't want to do economics and I wanted to do something like um, French instead, I could click it. And notice economics will be switched out for French. And then if I, I, I didn't want to do my second switch, I wanted to leave it like that. Okay, you are allowed to do that. So you could choose the subjects in the columns and make no switches. You could make one switch and you could make two switches, but you can't make any more than that. All right, so I made my two column choices here. So now I'm choosing my mandatory column, which is column nine, the blank column, so click it. If you don't click it, you will not see the finalize choices button. Okay, so you need to click on column nine when you are finished. And then you will see it like this. Now, let me show you something here also. This is another feature here. Are you seeing these green arrows right here? 
these green arrows mean that you could promote or demote any column. So right now, choice one is this column and choice two is this column, right? Column two and four. Suppose I wanted column four to be my choice one. I just have to click on this arrow, point and left and click it. And now this column four is choice one and column two went back to choice two. All right, and well, column three will always be the blank column. So um, bear in mind that you could do that. You could move it about here too. All right. Now, after you selected your choices, um, my advice is since you have the whole week to do it, um, probably go and sleep on it. You know, you could go ahead and log out. Uh, remember when you make your account books to write down your username and password because if you forget it, you won't have access to it and you would not be able to make changes to your choices. So make sure and write it down. So anyhow, you could log it off. You could go do what you have to do. You could come back the next day, log back in and your choices will be here. All right, and then you could finalize it. My advice is don't just go and finalize it one time. It's not a first come first serve basis. So you don't have to worry about it that you took whole week to make your selections, okay? Um, all the selections will be downloaded at the end of the week all together. So it's not first come first serve, but um, you should think about it before you finalize it. Cause once you finalize it, you can't go back and change it again. Okay, so you could log off if you want to. All right, and do what you have to do. Then the next day you come back in, um, you log in. Let me show you how you get it back. Right, remember where you will see it is on the students or my students. All right, and um, you'll see it here. You'll see on the actions, click the actions, and then you'll get it back here. All right, so after you go, you look at it. If you wanted to make changes, you could X off columns here and add different columns if you wanted to. All right, um, and so say I'm pleased with it. What you have to do is just click on finalize choices and then it's time to click on confirm once you click on confirm that's it you can't make any changes again so click on confirm right confirm this operation now um, bear in mind this should please disregard this date here All right when we made it we made a little slight mistake instead of 2021 we had 2020 but disregard it All right whatever shows up when you log in here that's um it's 2021 right all right, so you click on confirm this operation and now it's confirmed and um, click on print choice report. And you will get the screen like this. And when you click on print, you could print it and keep it for your records. It will show your choice one subjects, your choice two subjects, and of course, three will be um, black. You could also right click it and you could go and save it. All right, but um, so just save a web page, page version. You don't want to do that. So you could click on print and print it out. Notice you could also print a PDF if you want. If you click on print, let me show you. Right, um, if I'm not connected to a printer, I could choose save as PDF. All right, and when I click on save, it will save it to my computer. All right, it'll ask you where I want to save it. I'd save it as an Acrobat Reader document or a PDF. And you could state where you want to save it, right? Your desktop, whatever you want, and click on Save. And you would save it for your records. Okay, so you could print it or you could save it when you get it like this. Okay, and that will be the end of the subject selection process. You won't be able to make any changes again. So I hope you folks enjoyed the subject selection. Right, I hope you learned how to use the system and um, remember it will be open from a Monday afternoon for you to make your choices. All right, um, make your choices, think about it, uh, think about it again and then go ahead and, and, conf and finalize the choices and then confirm your choices and then you could save the document or print it and keep it. Okay, so Thanks a lot, and uh, please remember this um, this channel that I have here, ICT and EDU. 
I will be posting stuff on, on ICT, um, which could be used to help um, teachers, that could be used to help students in various aspects of school and of life in general. Okay, so feel free to subscribe to this um, channel. All right, and like the video. It will help with the propagation of the video. Okay, thanks a lot, folks, and I will see you in the next video.